Images make every website more interesting, and Drupal makes it easy to add images to your articles and your content. One of the first things you want to do, though, is to get some images. Two good ways that you can do that is to go out to Flickr.com. And the key is, is you want to go to Search, Advanced Search, and you can choose to use Creative Commons. These are photographers that have given permission already for the, their photographs that they've submitted, so you can download them and use them as you want. I usually check to use commercially as well as to modify, and that gives me lots of freedom. Then you can go in here and you can add whatever you're looking for. So I'll come and do my search. And now I have hundreds of pictures that already have permission to use on my website. Another thing that you can do is you can go out to google.com. You can choose images and you can do a search this way as well. So here's lots of logos. Now, I already have a logo set up, so I'm going to go ahead and use my logo. But another thing you want to do is you want to make the size of what you want. And it turns out that the size of the, of the image that I have is really large. So if I look in here, you can see this is a really, really large picture. So out on the web, there's lots of, of photo editors. And you can, one good one is pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com. So I can go to File, Open Image, get my logo, and then I can go Image, Image Size, and I can change it to, say, 100 pixels. And then I can say File, Save, and it will save it on, onto my computer. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And I usually like to put in the size. So this is 100 by 99. And you can see I've already done that. So now I have a small version that I can use on my Drupal website. All right, so now I have my image. I know where it is on my hard drive. So I'm going to go out to my Drupal site, and I'm going to edit my page. And as the page comes up, there's this uh, picture icon. So I'm going to click on the picture icon. And the first thing I have to do is browse the server. And up here in the corner, you can see a little item came up and then I'm going to go and upload my image. Choose my file. I'm going to take my smaller one that I created and then I'm going to upload. Notice I can also make a thumbnail automatically. This will make a second file that's 90 by 90. I click on the X to close this window and here you can see I have my uh, smaller sticker folder. Now, before this video, I had already uploaded this sticker photo. So you see, instead of overwriting it, it gave it a new name with an underscore zero. And once I choose the file that I want, I click Insert File. And here you can see the pictures added. So I'll add some alternative text for people that can't see the picture, such as Google or people who are blind. I'll say OK. And there's my image. Now, if I want it down below, I can just click and drag. Or if I want it at the very top, I can move it to the very top.
Then when I done, I save. And there's my image. So again, the steps are to save your image, resize it using a photo editor so it's appropriate size, and then out on your article or your blog post, you click on edit. You upload the picture, select it, insert it, and then save.